Hello, I'm David the Collector, and we're here at another art opening. Today we are here at another gallery. We are seeing Anthony Padilla. Let's check out the work. My name's Anthony Padilla. I'm an oil painter based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm originally from Texas. We're here at my opening for Bloom at another gallery, LA, Los Angeles, California. Does Bloom mean anything specific besides flower? All these flowers are very lush and open. You know, they're in the, they're blooming, yeah. you know, in like the best stage of the flower. Tell me about how you started making art. I've been painting as a child and it kind of started to pick up in my early 20s. I would spend most of my time like skating, but when I'd come home, like, I still had like, I don't know, creative energy, you know, left over. So I started to really dive into painting. Recently, I moved to New York about six years ago, and I've just really like picked up my, the practice of oil paint. Do you consider your work to be surrealist? It's not, definitely not photorealism, you know, like that's a different, different level. And I don't want it to be exactly like a picture. You know, I hardly use references for any of these. You know, I'll sketch it out once and then put that image away. And then from there, I just, I like to, you know, let my mind take over. Tell us about the Rainbow Servant. This one was really inspired by Aboriginal story of the, it's the Rainbow Serpent. And basically a story of this serpent that comes down from the sky and gives life to the waters and to planet Earth. So my story isn't 100% aligned with the original stories from Australia with the Aboriginals. But what I am trying to get across is not necessarily that an actual serpent came down from the sky and like, you know, granted life to planet Earth. It's more about the possibility that life came from outside of our solar system or, you know, somewhere else from the galaxy. And so this is the serpent coming down and touches the water here, and this is like life starting to bloom, you know. This is closer to what I have been painting for like the last few years. I've done a lot of nature-based uh, themes and scenes. I really enjoy doing jungle works, jungle pieces, but also I like the really like lush flowers too, which is kind of the theme for the rest of the paintings in here. I mean, that's the whole theme of the, the show is it's bloom, it's about flowers and like getting really up close. Where did the faces come from? How'd you come up with that and sort of the, the elements within the face? Just kind of playful, you know. I, at first I had just done the one rainbow and then it was kind of too hidden for me. So then I added the second rainbow and then these were already there. Like this rainbow wasn't there at the beginning, right? But these two pieces were, and then when I put that second one there, I was like, oh, all I have to do is put two little, you know, dots there, yeah. and it's their eyes, you know, yeah. and it's just like a grumpy little rainbow. Which is also funny, because like rainbows are, you know, pretty and you are happy and playful, but this guy's a little, yeah. he's a little grumpy, so. How has art changed your life? It's changed my life for the better, definitely. Um, I mean, it gives me a, an outlet to express myself and it's very therapeutic. Like, I mean, I just listen to music and put thoughts out onto the, onto a blank canvas, you know. It's very, uh, very personal and very like meditative. So I think it's definitely helped me grow as a person making paintings. Mm -hmm. 